start again. Hi, this is going to be uh, rice pilaf, or really it's couscous pilaf with uh, salmon, and it's a baked dish. Uh, what was the temperature? 350 more than likely. So I'm going to put it on here. 450 to, actually. Okay, I'm going to do, thanks Sarah, four, whoops, 450, and I'm going to start. I'm going to do it on the convection bake. Since that's a little faster, I don't know if it's faster, but it gets it better. It gets it all around. <laughs> This is the couscous in here, and I'm going to take all these carrots that are, how, what is this, about a... About a pound. About a pound of carrot. That doesn't even look like a pound, but say it's about a pound. It's, a, I'd say it's probably, this is a cup, so I'd say it was like a cup and a they half. They tell you a pound, but a look, pound looks like too much. Does it? Okay. And then how much this? This is about, uh, Sarah did the preparation for me. She was my sous chef today. This is um, mint from the garden. And so I'm going to take all this mint off, and that was about two tablespoons, I think, or maybe a big tablespoon. And then this looks like it is a cup and a half of... Oh, sorry, it was supposed to be half a cup, so... Which was? Of, of, the, <laughs> of almons. Of almonds? Yeah, so put less. Oh, but I we guess. like almonds. Let's yeah. just put in. You know, that's the good thing about recipes. It just doesn't matter, usually. Now, there's some... If you're baking, different story. Put in here. Now, am I going to mix this together, Sarah? Mm-hmm. I'm going to stir it together like this. I'm going to use my hands, which I washed. <laughs> I did wash my hands. So I'm going to put it together. Now, the couscous doesn't have to be baked. It's, it's a grain, a very fine grain, that it, or it's a ground uh, meal that's used by the middle people in the Middle East primarily, um, Armenians, Israelis, Arabs, all the different Middle Eastern countries, and probably some of the Baltic areas, to use couscous. It cooks without, uh, with just boiling water. You don't have to cook it like rice. It's delicious. Okay, there's this. Now I'm going to take these wild oh, salmon. Oh, you got to mix a little olive oil in, actually. Oh, i got to have a little olive Thank you, Sarah. Okay, okay uh, how about if I use grape oil? Yeah, go for it. I've got some grape oil. Let's use grape oil. This is the newest thing, you know, the latest and greatest. How much do I put? Just sprinkle Like a salmon? tablespoon and two, two tablespoons. I'd say that's about And a little salt and pepper, they say, even before the salmon. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to grind a little sea salt and some... Nice um, pepper. So here we go. This is the sea salt. I want you to see how fast this is. Now the prep work took a few minutes. Um, Sarah did that for us. Sea salt is much more salty than regular salt, so I'm not using as much as uh, I'm, not, I'm not measuring, but I just like to do put it over. I keep that doing it. And the pepper. Come on, pepper. I don't see you. It's going. We like a lot of pepper. <laughs> Is it on there? I don't have yeah. the glasses yeah, on, so I can tell. Okay, now we're going to put the skin down. You know, yeah, why not? Skin up, maybe. Okay, we're going to put the skin up. The reason I'm going to put skin up is that we don't want the skin sticking to the couscous. We want the couscous is going to bake and be moist because of the liquid from the, um, from the salmon. Does that look nice? When we get out, we'll be able to make a serving of everything on a plate and serve it with... Lemon wedges. So we're going to put it in the oven. Do I cover it with foil? Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover it with foil. <laughs> and then how long does it bake, Sarah? Uh, about 30 minutes. About 30, 30 to 35. Minutes. So this is not too long of a recipe. No, super fast. Now, come here over here. I want you to, <laughs> I want you to at least honey. meet Sarah. <laughs> I want you to at least meet Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So camera. she is our camera girl today. She's a marvelous baker, a chef, and a great sous chef. Okay. What do you think? Oh. I, I smell food. Do you smell food? So that's how got that's what got you in here. That got me in here. Okay, well we're gonna so, open up the. You Bobby, wanna open them? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is this something you've been working on for mm -hmm. the last half hour? Yeah, it was a half hour of cooking. Why don't you Ooh, open up this whole thing? Good. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, Ooh. that's looking good. Ooh. Oh, that's good. The skin stuck to the foil. That's a better. Okay, well, yeah. you bet you're gonna need. Okay. okay, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to go over. We're going to garnish this with what, uh, say? Fresh lemon. Okay, what are you going to do with that? You're just going to cut it like that? I'm going to cut it aren't into gonna, wedges. Aren't you going to wash it? I did wash it, actually. Oh, you did? Okay. So just put it under the sink. We were talking about <laughs> washing it because, now the reason is they found lately that often the lemons have, because you're dealing with the skin and you're putting a knife through the skin, that you can pick up a lot of germs. And so it's best if you make sure to wash that. The other two things, you know what they are, Sarah? What? Is avocado. Okay. And cantaloupe. They find that salmonella comes from those more than anything. Really? Yeah, because people don't, we just cut into those and we don't wash the rind. So it's good to wash the anything that's got a rind that you're going to cut through. So that's a good thing. Good to know. That looks good. We're going to serve it with enough. 
Ooh, isn't that looking good? See, that keeps the nice moisture in. How do you peel that off? Let me see how you do that. It's nice when it sticks to the foil, isn't it? Well, once you get it started, it, uh, then we will drop it. Too the... hot to touch with your fingers? Is this a family? We well, don't I don't like to touch things with my finger, but I can do it with an implement. Here, look at you. You look like a surgeon. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Dr. Roloff. Okay, it rolled right off. Oh, rolled off. It rolled <laughs> off, and, and it's stuck on. Okay. There's a spoon. Okay, you know we always like presentation, correct? Yes. So let's do let's do some presentation okay. here. We're going to take onto the plate. We're going to take the couscous. Let's see how it looks. It looks a little drier than I thought it would uh, say. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <gasps> you know what we forgot? What? Water. <laughs> How much water were we cup supposed to? A cup and a half. <laughs> Add a cup and a half of water before you do this. I thought, wait a minute, this doesn't look Pretty right. Pretty dry. Well, you know, what? you know what? That's okay. We have a little uh, bit of boiling water here. You know, when something goes wrong, since this is boiling, you would never put cold water in here, but you could certainly put some boiling water. That's enough. I'm just put it around the outside of it. Maybe cover it up and let it sit. Okay. Well, this shows you how to reclaim something that you feel like, oh my goodness. Look at that, soaked it right up. Let me put a little more here. Maybe in there. Let's see. Let's just, okay. Okay, this is Well, we know that the salmon is perfect. Yeah, it looks delicious. And I think that's not going to take very long because it doesn't have to cook. It just has to, to absorb the water. But I thought that it would just be enough from the fish. <laughs> I didn't read the recipe. I I read it, I forgot. <laughs> but you know what? That's what happens. This is my granddaughter. <laughs> and she's a sweetheart. She's been fixing dinner something for us every night. <laughs> no. I said, well, we've no. got to start uh, taking pictures of this because she's good. Plates over, honey? That's why it looks more good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this looks so good. Right there. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? Mm -hmm. Put the little oh. thing there. Mm -hmm. Put the oh. little thing there. So here's the salmon. We had defrosted the salmon. It was frozen. So it's good. This is called is this wild salmon. salmon. No, it's not our in oh, you can like this. Am I can I dive into it now? You can. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.